it's Chloe's Galaxy! I'm Chloe and guess what we're going to be doing today? We're going to be doing another painting video but we're going to be painting a Matryoshka doll or otherwise known as a Russian doll or a nesting doll. We bought this from Russia when we were on our vacation and we got this at this store we got it for $20. It's a bit, it's really, really pricey, but it looks super, super fun to play with. So basically a nesting doll has another one inside it until you get to the very last one. I have an example here if you guys want to see. So it's like a little girl and if you open her, if you can see a little line there, she opens up. There, look, there's another one. So, okay, so let's put it there. So this one opens up. There's another one inside. Okay, let's put you there. Okay, so this is our third piece. Open it up. There's another one inside. Or four piece. Another one inside. Oh, this is so 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 tiny. It could still open it one more. Oh look. This is the tiniest one and this is our very very last one. Oh look, it's so 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 tiny. So we have six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's basically what a nesting doll does. So as you can see that this one is painted already. So we are going to make our own. Let's open it up and see what we get. Okay, so here is our watercolor paint. It comes with six colors and a brush. White, yellow, blue, red, and green, and I think that's a brown. So there is our watercolor. We're not, uh, we're not gonna use these. I brought my own acrylic paint, and I think the acrylic paint is probably gonna be better for wood. We have our instructions. Make a colorful matryoshka. Separate the dolls, start with the smallest one, add water and mix it with the paint of your choice. Allow the paint to dry before applying the next color. Apply basic colors first, then work on details. Then we start the whole thing over for the next one. So here is our Matryoshka doll. It's a bit bigger than our one that we have here. Okay, so let's open it up because we have to start at the very, very last one, so we can just work our way there. There. Our next one. Third one. Fourth one. And now our very, very last one. Oh, it's so, 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 so tiny. It's smaller than my fingernail. It's super, 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 duper tiny. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the tiniest one. Okay, for each doll, what I'm planning on doing is that we can do a different design on each doll. I was thinking about taking some green acrylic paint and put some white and put some pink dots on top of it. Okay, so we're going to use the brush that I came with. And we're going to start to paint it. Okay. 
This is super, super, duper, duper tiny. Okay, so when the tiniest doll is all dried up, you can like, what I think that you should do is that you should get the tiniest tip you should have and just put dots everywhere. Okay, so our tiniest one has already dried up. Oh, it's so cute with a little pattern. Okay, since we're done with that one, we're going to go to our next one. What I'm thinking of what we should do is that we should do like a little stripe pattern. We're going to use purple, so we're going to do a light purple, great taffy, and this dark purple, violet. Okay, so we're, we're done with our second doll. Now we're gonna go on to our third doll. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing is painting this, the, this bottom part yellow, then I'm going to paint this white, and then I'm gonna put like yellow flowers on the top. This is our first doll with like a little, I think, hoodie or a cover on our hat. Okay, so while we're waiting for this one to dry, we're gonna start off with this one. So, let's start. 
Okay, so for this one, I'm going to like paint it red. Then another color that I think I'm gonna do is maybe black. So black and red. Okay, so this one is already dry, so we're going to go ahead and start painting the little details. Okay, so we're going to grab some yellow paint. And we're just going to put like little flowers. Okay, so there is our third doll. I'm going to go ahead and paint in the little tie around her neck, white. Okay, so there. Here's our third one. Okay, so we're going to put it there, and then we're going to continue on our last one. Or not a last one, our fourth one, sorry. I'm just going to carefully paint in the little tie. So we're going to paint, we're going to use our black, and we're going to paint the rest of our black. Okay, so this is done. Well, when this is done drying up, we're going to go ahead and paint the sleeves and then the apron. We're going to be painting the sleeves black and this part over here black. These two black. And then we're going to paint the middle one. I think we should paint it white.
Okay, so there. I really like this one. So these are the hearts that I drew on. Okay, we're gonna put this here and then we're gonna start on our biggest, biggest one. I'm gonna paint her little thing on her head. I'm gonna paint a dark blue, then I'm gonna put some stars. And then I'm gonna paint the bottom probably different shades of blue. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it blue. Okay, so our biggest one, we already painted the blue. We already painted the blue on her little tie on top of her head. So now we're gonna take these two, these two blues. I have pool blue and Mediterranean blue. And we're gonna paint it on her clothes. So I'm thinking about painting the rest of her body I think it would be good if I did this color. Or I think it would be good with this color and then I'm gonna make her apron this color. So I'm gonna start using this. Ooh, I really like this color. It looks really pretty. So we're gonna take our light blue, pool blue, actually, and we're gonna go ahead and paint her sleeves.
Okay, so it's now all dried up. So we're going to continue to paint her sweater over here and then her little bow and then we're going to paint the stars. Okay, so we're going to start painting the stars. Okay, so we're going to put her here with all of our other dolls. So we're going to wait for it to dry and then we're going to put them inside of each other and open each one up. Okay guys, here is our biggest doll. So now, let's open it. Inside, we have our second doll. She has hearts on her apron. So let's open her up and see which one we get. Ah! Okay. We have our yellow doll, our third one. If we open this one, we get our Really, really, really super duper tiny doll. Our tiny doll in our last one. I really hope that you enjoyed us painting and coloring in our Matryoshka doll or Russian doll or nesting doll. I really enjoyed it and it took a long time, but it was really, really worth it. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Toys Galaxy. Until next time, bye!